Inevitable. I think we needed to unleash all these various sides of our musical nature. This massive clip you are about to see starts off with a discussion of the Gothic Voodoo Anthems album. This was an outgrowth of all the acoustic rehearsals and shows that Edward and I had done. some downtime, I began developing an interesting chemistry with a keyboard player friend of mine named Lynn Marie Delmato. We worked up several Virgin Steel tracks to perform live on stage, just the two of us, and we continued on with what Edward and I were doing in that stripped down style. We enjoyed doing this kind of thing so much that I thought, let's document this moment and record what we have worked up. We recorded everything live, and then later on, added more orchestration, and thus the Gothic Voodoo Anthems album was born. It is a further development. Gothic Voodoo Anthems is like what Edward and I were doing before, but expanded, or as I like to say, now on steroids. (laughs) 
I should point out that there are numerous suites or medleys on these three new albums, such as the Summertime Darkness Suite, for example, or the Gothic Voodoo Suite. And I group those songs together as such because they are meant to be listened to all together as a group, not piecemeal. Some songs function as short segues or smaller musical movements inside the larger full-scale works. And if taken apart and extracted, the The meaning meaning of the the whole piece won't come across correctly. Unfortunately, in this digital age, this is not always understood, so the sweets and medleys when they were uploaded were chopped up. This, I think, caused initially much confusion for the listener. I recommend getting the actual physical discs to truly understand what is really going on. Maybe this movie or psychodrama will give some insight into what Seven Devils Moonshine is all about. Hi guys, I'm Tommy Vitali from the beautiful Renaissance city of Florence, Italy. And here in my hands I have a new Virgin Steel album, which is actually five CDs. And I had the chance to listen to this new album this summer with David Face in New York City and listen to some preview. And I have to say, you can find anything you want from Virgin Steel in this album. As I was talking with David, about how much I love his vocals just with piano. There is an album called Gothic Voodoo Anthems, which is really like this. You can listen to some old Virgin Steel stuff in a new version, very beautiful, very romantic, barbarian. And there's there's also new materials that I've listened to, which is still Virgin Steel, with a little bit of influences, in my opinion, from the 70s, bluesy stuff. It's really amazing. So. Old stuff, new stuff, a lot of stuff from the glorious Virgin Steel. So listen to it and buy it. I had a chance to hear the new Virgin Steel album, Seven Devils Moonshine, when I was up visiting with David a few weeks ago. It's another very long, ambitious work. So it was heard over the course of several dinners and bottles of wine and car rides and such. Um, I thought the record was absolutely amazing. You know, it really had all the elements of, you know, everything Virgin Steel has ever done. There was the darkly romantic kind of vibe of Visions of Eden and the Blacklight Bacchanalia, as well as the epic, grandiose, barbaric sound of House of Atreus. Um, And actually a lot of the gothic bluesy kind of sound of life among the ruins so uh yeah it's really all there um the orchestral versions that david did of uh some of the older songs were really really great um real huge epic sound i think um some of them may have turned out even you know more powerful sounding than uh the original versions maybe so uh Yeah, I think fans of those classic albums are really going to dig that. Um, Perhaps my favorite aspect of the album um, was uh, probably some of the new songs. They just really, really grabbed me. Um, Seven Dead Within, Green Dusk Blues, uh, Child of the Morning Star. Those songs were just really, truly amazing, you know. Super ripping vocals, as always real passionate solos and excellent grooves and harmonies, uh, progressive movements, you know, it just really, really killer stuff. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting the album and diving into it more.
behind it were that there was just so much music on the table. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of material in there, something for everybody, whether you're looking for hard and heavy, something a little more intimate, acoustic, it's all there. And uh, being that the band is celebrating a 35th anniversary, uh, of which 18 plus years now I've been in, you know, honored to be a part of, uh, it was just sort of um, a clearing of sorts to say, hey, here's a whole bunch of, um, like I said, something for everyone, and uh, hopefully the fans will appreciate it and really, you know, get a deep appreciation for all the, the variety and, and the blood sweat that goes into all this stuff. Well, there's uh, two albums in the chamber actually, uh, so it was actually really nice to be able to put out all of this material that you find in the box set in order to focus and really bear down for uh, these next two records that are to come. Ow! Yes, yes indeed, the anniversary. Very special. The music is very special. We're capturing amazing moods on this album. The, the, the songs are very unique. We're not so pigeonholed into this mold that everyone wants us to be in. Anytime the music is just speaking, living. That song, Seven Dead Within, is all about just an explosion of David's greatest lyrics of all time. The song swings, moves, it's got art, passion. It's just an incredible track and I'm so pleased that we were able to really dive layers deep and, and get it right on that one. Yeah. <laughs> for the song, try to capture a mood, but take the song a little bit in a different direction, and then once we return again, the song is right. us. Let the games begin, as David always said, and where's my wine? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> she is, and thanks to everyone for listening, for believing in what Verbum Seal has been all this time, and uh, will continue to be, and where we're going in the future. Thanks for embracing what we're uh, what we're up to. Cheers, everyone, in every part of the world. Cheers, yeah. cheers.
Greetings and salutations, dear friends. Or we have a massive new release, new release, new release. Out now! It is a five CD box set called Seven Devils Moonshine. It features the reissues of the albums Hymns to Victory and The Book of Burning, plus three new full-length discs containing brand new songs, rewritten covers, and new stripped-down and or orchestral versions of classic Burton Steel material. And now, with glass in hand, as is only proper, as proprietor of this barbaric romantic vineyard, I shall be your guide to this netherworld, and I shall try to discuss and try try to reveal a little bit of something about the spirit and flavor of each of the five discs contained within this epic box set we call Seven Devils Moonshine! Queen of the, Queen of the Dead! The initial recordings of the piano and vocal and the occasional keyboard were all performed live and recorded straight up in one go. On some tracks, additional orchestration was added later on. You can easily hear and appreciate the spontaneity, the rawness, the liveliness, as we kept in all the various between song and or during song panther as well as all the various bits of feedback that crop up now and again because we were playing live and really quite loudly throughout these recording sessions. The Gothic Voodoo Anthems album starts out in full-on barbaric romantic mode with the orchestral version of the song I Will Come For You and proceeds to take the listener on a vast sweeping journey that encompasses a world, wealth and breadth of moods, styles, emotions and musical terrain, gradually morphing and culminating into a kind of deep south, very gothic voodoo blues vibe by the album's end. Gothic voodoo anthems. I will come for you! They 
was the first disc in the chamber, so to speak, for the box set. It got the ball rolling, and it's really no stretch to understand, as it is essentially still over-the-top, bombastic, and epic like our other albums, only it's done in a more stripped-down manner. No country! No law! No religion! I wasn't quite aware of it while we were recording, but upon listening back, I found that in many ways, these new versions come across as even heavier than the original full group recordings. For example, the song The Black Light Bacchanalia is incredibly explosive, completely over the top, and for me, manages to capture just as much and perhaps even more darkness, power, and energy than what we achieved on the original recording. To me, it sounds like what blues giant Robert Johnson might sound like today had he really sold his soul to the devil. The Black Light Bacchanalia, the age that is to come. Hero. Blowing us at the cold sky Sawing out the blink of an eye Casting to bondage down how will jive The spirit of evil eternally thrives The decisions of play burning black a casket of a chill air Raping the goddess of gathering dark An ocean of blood fell prayer Unending fire and unending might Melting the light from the town Raising a hell where your hell had been A seed in the heart of the rose All the age that is to crown Thus, the album is pure, burden steel, with all its attendant violence and drama, and both the metallic, barbaric nature on full display, as well as the more down and dirty rock or bluesy vibe quite prevalent and quite abundant, and intent on making itself known within the structures of the various selections. We approached all the performances from a purely emotional standpoint, using the voice as weapon and or like a guitar solo, against that surging orchestral sonic soundscape to invoke a cauldron of dark magic and the beating of a wicked black heart. Zeus Ascendant.
the blackness of your morning Oh, your treasures of mine A living flame will be your sour truth Hello, slowly spend I am there By the hammer of Zeus in the wrecking of a flower Gothic Root is Sweet, featuring Romanian folk dance number three, the Delirium excerpt, and a snakeskin voodoo man, the orchestral version.
Your sister knows, your mama knows, every female in your family knows that I am. Rap, pop, boom, boom. In addition to these alternate takes on all the various Bird and Steel songs, you will also find several covers that were all rearranged, reimagined, and performed live and raw from the icy grandeur of Led Zeppelin's No Quarter, with its swirl of demonic wind against a black snow sky ambiance. Sun House's sweat and pain drenched death letter blues. I got a letter this morning. Do you reckon how it read? I got a letter this morning. Said, hurry, oh, love is dead. It's said, love is dead. Hurry, hurry, oh, love is dead. So I grabbed all my suitcase. This is definitely not a laid-back folk rock affair or a mild-mannered, unplugged situation. No, not at all. We are most definitely plugged in and turned all the way up. I said farewell, honey. Gonna see you on judgment day. I said goodbye, child. Gonna meet you on judgment day. in the French Quarter medley featuring Chloe Dancer and Gentle Groove. Like my world I'm on fire oh yeah I am full of desire oh yeah On your boat No more love On my pillow, yeah Come play with me In my room You 
Next on our list is the album Ghost Harvest, the Spectral Vintage Sessions. Disc 1, Vintage 1, Black Wine for Morning. Seven Dead Within, Seven Dead Within. Is 11 brand new recordings of new tracks written over just these past few months, plus two rewritten, reimagined covers. The full group instrumentation was implemented on these tracks, and the songs burst with a passionate onslaught of drama, power, mystery, and eternal longing. The majority of the songs on this album do portray real life incidents and experiences and do relate to each other.
Musically, the album runs the gamut from barbaric romantic metal to bluesy explorations of a dark voodoo-like nature. The songs Feral and Green Dusk Blues are over-the-top gothic blues-style epics, which burn with a tempestuous fire. Psychic slaughter. Seven Dead Within are aggressive, wild, metallic experiences performed with unbridled passion.
fire. Star. Wow! Ooh, yeah. A secret sign. Walk is your eyes. Since I won't moment another place. Wow! Let me take you through that desert. Show you what to do with time Rise and bubble before your promise Fear of holes within your paradise Oh, I can feel you breathe Oh, I will feel you bleed Child of the morning Blues epic. Feral. I see the shadows of the evening round around me as my thoughts begin to moan. I know there's nothing at home and no, not another day. Lightning bones the delta where the sins of angels lie Buried in the gash of a winsome bride Oh, the air is chill with ghosts Yeah, the wind is thrilled to boast But did you ever hear the laughter When you missed the diagnose? I can tell you why there's no shelter in the sky There's no shelter in the stone There's no home for you and I mm. ah! Now with our chips to turn my tails About the sirens in the whales And the claws and spider books In my wildwood name Hear the seven trumpets roar Irresistible and pure 
Flick the last bit out of room You're a guaranteed moan Well, I saw you boss undressed Found a new you boss depressed Here goes the atmosphere Where my heart consumes a spear Penetrate the past Where the cruelest die is cast There's no shelter in the stone There's no safety in the blast Gothic ballad called Justine. Nowhere. 
Wicked Game just grew and grew and grew. Our version is very gothic voodoo-esque. It continually rises and seems about to peak or climax. But just when you feel the denouement is upon you, another new rise begins to develop. This keeps up until the final onrushing moment, and even then the song won't quit. It eventually explodes and finally dissolves ever so gradually, leaving the listener spent with the afterglow of a mighty climactic moment. Wicked game, wicked game. an infernal closure to disc one or vintage ones a spectral black vintage in proper glass draining fashion <laughs> Cleanse the palate with another round and continue with the album 
Ghost Harvest, the Spectral Vintage Sessions, Vintage 2, Red Wine for Warning. Red Wine for Warning continues our spirit-drenched exploration and celebration of all things barbaric, romantic, bluesy, melancholy, dark as well as light. The album kicks off with a piano vocal version of the Noble Savage album track, The Evil in Her Eyes. This is a stripped down version performed with just me on piano and vocal. A very diverse assortment of tracks which run the gamut from very bluesy to very classical follow this song. As CD2, Vintage 2, Red Wine for Warning, is the more eclectic album of this Ghost Harvest series. Contains tracks that several people who have heard them suggest that with such songs like Sister Moon, The Summertime, Doctor Sweet, and The Gods Are Hungry, Triptych, for example, that we could possibly reach an entirely different type of audience altogether, something completely new. This is the Gods Are Hungry triptych featuring the Gods Are Hungry poem.
and the birth of beauty. The birth of beauty. out a special mention for the song The Birth of Beauty here. The lyric on this song where I sing sums up the violence, the beauty, the melancholy, and the darkness of this entire two-disc Ghost Harvest set. You will find new material on this disc as well as several rewritten, reimagined covers.
The Drained White Suite, featuring After Dark, Wake the Dead, and The Graveyard Dance. Also a few more really raw, very, very stripped down live in the studio tracks that were recorded during the Gothic Voodoo Anthem sessions. We put them on here as they easily fit in quite well with the overall lysergic ethereal mood of this particular vintage two disc. The late night barroom hoodoo medley is a very good example of that psychotropic barrel house style. Come back, baby, come into my arms You know why? Cause I'm the crowd of king's sake In the room again Yeah, I'm the crowd of king's sake In the room again Whatever one may think of these left-hand path explorations. I know that the attitude of go for it, the world be damn metal, lives inside all of it. You'll find the idea of three, the number three, appearing often here. Plus the lunar cycles, the sowing, and then the reaping with the harvesting of many ghosts. And the wine theme, and the absinthe, and the scotch whiskey moonshine. The spirits overall theme, in general, 
all quite prevalent throughout these recordings, and some tracks conjure the dark juju mood and vision of despair at the crossroads, or the gallows, or the feeling of being in a long after midnight attic or some smoke-filled barroom with the newly risen full moon shining through, making shadows dance and memories cry. Agony or ecstasy is just a sip away. Is that an angel next to you or a devil? Or a devil angel? <laughs> As I mentioned before, many of the tracks do relate to each other. This is not a concept album per se, but there is an overall theme, a sense of malevolence unseen yet lurking just around the bend. Darkness, longing, the so-called forbidden, anti-authority, danger, sweat, love, lust and death, and the drive and unbridled passion of living life to its fullest before the final curtain comes down. We knew that it was going to be quite an ambitious undertaking to do all of this, and we went for it with full-on enthusiasm and commitment. Commitment. And now, upon completion, we find that for us, these three new albums summon a pagan majesty that burns with its own unique incandescence, transcends time and place, and reaps a rich reward, an abundant sonic harvest, if you will, for the adventurous musical palette with full-bodied flavors, both earthy and ethereal, spicy and exotic, inviting yet foreboding, structured and untamed, deliriously stormy, chaotic and tranquil, with an undertone of smoke abounding to exhilarate the sensibilities of those who dare to enter this Bacchic Orphic Dionysian realm, where fire spirits burn and explode with mad delirium on a quest for immortality to reach that place where the life stream touches eternity. 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 Kingdom of the Fearless, the destruction of Try. These works are for you and for both the long and recently departed and well-loved spirits and also for those yet to come. Down! Wow. I will conclude with a word about the two reissues. The Book of Burning. When first released, featured new versions of classic Virgin Steel tracks like Don't Say Goodbye, A Cry in the Night, Children of the Storm, etc. But that was not all. It wouldn't have been Virgin Steel if we hadn't included a full-length album's worth of brand new material inside it as well. So that's just what we did when we first released it. Adding songs like Conjuration of the Watcher, The Succubus, Reign of Fire, Annihilation, Hot and Wild, and many, many others. Most of it was recorded directly following our very long and very successful tour for the House of Atreus albums. So we were very warmed up and ready to go upon entering the studio. And the tracks burn with great ensemble fire and the enthusiasm of the group in action. From the Book of Burning album, I am the one.
book a burning album The suck you bush From the Book of Burning album, Reign of Fire! Annihilation. to victory! This is a strong collection of very over-the-top barbaric romantic virgin steel classics. A symphony of steel! The battle mix! <laughs> of Rome! Cry for Pompeii! This album is a kind of anthology, but it is more than that, as we did add new material and several alternate versions, alternate mixes, and various other new ingredients to keep it interesting and new for us and for you. We realize there is a hell of a lot of material here, so please feel free to take your time in getting acquainted with everything. We wish you a glorious journey through these musical landscapes, and we look forward to meeting you again, both on stage and in the forthcoming next releases.
thank you so very much for joining us and for sharing in our celebration. Pour the wine in the cup of the future and raise your glass for today! Cheers by the gods and goddesses! Death and meet on the holy ground. 